Hello, welcome back to your weekly address in my recovery room. I'm Lucius Conway, Certified Addiction Recovery Coach, Certified Recovery Peer Advocate and Manager of Recovery Coaching Service of New York. I'm here to underscore for you today the fact that addiction is a brain disease. Addiction is a brain disease. We've done numbers of studies uh, funded by Robert Wood Johnson, among others, the National Institute of Drug Abuse, the National Institute for Alcoholism and Alcohol Abuse, SAMHSA, which is Substance Abuse and Mental Health uh, Administration for our government and the Health and Human Services Department of our federal government, have all gathered this scientific data and they've dis discovered and determined that addiction is a brain disease. That means it's not a matter of choice or willpower or, or they've got to hit bottom. All of these fallacies have, uh, have basically provoked uh, a system that has failed and failed and failed again. You know it. You know somebody who's been in rehab uh, many times. It's, it's like a revolving door. The rates of recidivism in rehab centers, outpatient and in, inpatient, is deplorable. Well, there's a system that works that the federal government has stood behind and said, listen, we're going to provide Medicaid reimbursement to put peer advocates, people who have been through, got to the other side, inside these rehab facilities so that they can help individuals find their way out so that they're no longer subjected to the dictation of some substance abuse counselor who may not have a clue as to what their world is like and what their situation is, or even a sensitivity to the fact that it's a brain disease and it's still in, in, the, in that old mindset that, oh, it's just a matter of willpower. It isn't. And if somebody's trying to treat you for, uh, for something uh, misdiagnosed, let's say, if they believe, well, it's a matter of will, which uh, many of the substance abuse counselors are still stuck in this traditional mode despite the scientific evidence, you need a peer advocate on your side. The federal government has made it available. The state has made it available. They will pay. Medicaid and third party payers must pay for you to have a peer advocate if that's what you want. So you have the power now. You have the power for your loved ones and for yourself to say to the system, give me somebody that's been through on the other side who doesn't have a piece of sheepskin that gives them all of this uh, 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 book knowledge and they don't have actual knowledge of what the current uh, state of affairs is with regard to, to effective treatment for substance use disorder. Listen, I wrote the book. I'm here to tell you. It's about being able to have self-directed, wellness-driven recovery. That's what life is about. And, and it's four dimensions of wellness. There are five stages of change. And with a little positive influence from somebody who's been there, done that, and is going on doing that, either in a 12-step environment or outside a 12-step environment, successfully and effectively. Look, the proof is in the pudding. Look at me. Look at that before and after picture on the homepage of our website at myrecoverycoach.biz. This ain't no joke, let me say that. I need you to get on your phone, get on your laptop, email, call, let me know. Listen, I've got somebody in my family. It may even be me. I want to get some help, and I want a peer advocate by my side to ensure that I'm not pushed around by a traditional system in a traditional way and left uh, to, to, to flail, only to fail and come back again. Uh, you want your best chances. You'll get them with Recovery Coaching Services of New York. I'm Lucius Conway, and above all things, you know, you know what I always wish you, right? I still do. I wish you and yours wellness.